And there was one layer of the announcement which I didn't predict on the channel and wasn't really discussed or that I hadn't been thinking about. And that I actually, I don't know, I haven't seen people on Twitter talking about it, but to me, this is huge. And I actually got a tour of this as well, was the cathode manufacturing process. So before they can even get the stuff to build the battery cell, you have to actually build the cathode and anode and all that stuff, a separate process. That crazy chemical engineering is happening in China a lot of the times, or halfway around the world. They're shipping these raw materials to these crazy factories in China that turn them into stuff that they can make into batteries, and then Tesla would make them into batteries, and so, or Panasonic. But now, um, and this is something I talked with a lot about with Vivas, um, as I had him on, he was former Tesla uh, battery materials team. He's really helped me think through this problem of like, okay, if we're gonna get 90 million EVs on the road or whatever, how, you know, how does that impact the raw materials supply chain of we're gonna need to literally from the ground up build all these new supply chains to accommodate for all these new raw materials and cars. And so Tesla, there's always, and it's such a fragmented mining industry, like lithium EV cars aren't going mainstream except for Tesla. And so Tesla is literally like single-handedly with brute force moving this industry forward. Um, and not just by replacing what Panasonic and CATL does, Tesla's savage. They figured out how to actually uh, do cathode, like even one step down the chain of vertical integration that I was totally not expecting. This was actually part of the tour, was a surprise at the end of the battery tour, was the cathode plant as well. Tesla has a top secret cathode plant that they've been working on. So to me, this is one of the biggest takeaways from this is, and this is the biggest, if I could sum up all of Battery Day in one message, it's not that Tesla's released a new battery cell, but that Tesla has launched a comprehensive systems approach to, to battery manufacturing, mining, just the entire battery architecture. Um, and just, just they've launched this program that is an R&D powerhouse to develop from scratch in-house the world's most advanced and sustainably produced and lowest cost batteries. And they're just inching down that vertical supply chain. And it's like autonomy day where they, you know, they have the chip team, they have the autopilot team, but you know, the software um, and the hardware and it all comes together. They're basically launching this division at Tesla, which has this purpose to make the cars autonomous. To me, what I felt like today was, was really this big push and announcement essentially of not a cell, but a division within Tesla of this battery research unit. It's not about the 4680 cell that they come out with today. Think about the 4680 cell that, or whatever this technology looks like in five years, you know? Um, and, and, and the biggest thing about all of this was taking this in house allows Elon to, you know, the cost trajectory of lithium ion cells is like this. Now it's sort of like this and we have this different dip um, because of this sort of amazing uh, breakthrough with this new technology, like this is legitimately a technological breakthrough and stop sending me all these emails. Everyone sends me emails, quantum scape this, like, did you read about this battery startup? It's like, dude, who cares? I'm so sick of reading and hearing about battery technology that doesn't exist. Meanwhile, Tesla, who the media hates and, you know, has a, I don't know, I just don't get it anyway, but Tesla's actually doing it. They actually have this facility on the ground. They've been scaling it, not, not talking, just putting the work in. Like, I love that about Tesla. Like, and they're even saying like, yeah, we're trying to get to scale by 2022. We're trying to ramp this up. We're trying to, you know, scale all these batteries, but it's going to be really hard. It's going to take a really long time. Like, it's not going to be easy. We know what we need to do, but there's a lot of challenges to get there. Like, really good job at managing expectations um, on this.